So this trach bag was provided to us from the hospital, MUSC Children's Health. That's the hospital that Braylon went to, okay? Uh, this has enough space to carry all type of things. Um, but I'm going to go through this bag and repack it. Um, this bag stays in the car. And it is our emergency trach bag. We have an, tra another one at home. But this is the backup emergency trach bag. This goes to the hospital with us if we have to go and be inpatient. This goes to doctor's appointments with us. If me and Berlin are out and about, this bag is with us. This bag is always with us. But right now, I'm going to repack it to make sure it has everything that it needs. In the last video that I did before this, I realized that there was not an obturator in here, which is a big no-no. So right now, I'm going to actually put an obturator in here. So this is Berlin's trach. You want to make sure that the trach is already connected to the ties. I'm checking the size to make sure it's the correct size. Brillin has a 3.5 Bravona Flex, okay? So this is Brillin's trach right here. I'm using gloves because you want to make sure that you keep this nice and sanitary, all right? So I'm going in Brillin's obturator bag where he has several obturators, and I'm going to grab one of these obturators and put it in the trach, Okay. You cannot do a trait change without an obturator. The obturator guides the trach back inside of the trachea in the stoma, okay? It is important that you have an obturator. These ties are actually too small for Braylon. I'm going to put new ties on and everything. So I have cut trait ties a little bit longer because that one was way too short okay Brillin has grown since then which is a good thing that means we have never had to use it to do an emergency but this is the trait that is going to go in Brillin's go bag all right for emergency trait changes if we're out and about in the streets in public out of town wherever we may be this is the trait that's going to go with us so I'm going to put this trait okay in this bag that's where the trait goes. It goes in this bag right here. Okay, this bag is specifically for this trait. Now, Braylon also takes a size down trait. This is the 3.5 Bravona Flex. He also will take a 3.0 Bravona Flex. And that is if we can't get the 3.5 back in for any way, shape, or form, like it seems like his airway may be like closing or something you want to take the next size which is the 3.0 and hurriedly put that back in with the obturator you never want to put a trach in without the obturator because the trach is not going to go in all right so i have this prepared and that goes at this top part right here okay that's where that go i need some more i need lubricant let me see oh lubricant is right here I'm going to move one of them up here. You want to make sure you have that, the lubricant. And where is the key? I don't know what other families call it, but we call it a key. If Braylon's trach is stuck on his circuit and we cannot disconnect it, you use this little white key to disconnect it. So I'm putting that in there as well. All right? Let me see. There is, I think that's all that needs to go up there for emergency trait change. So this is what goes in this first part. The second part, I'm going to go through this. Aha, uh -huh. great, 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 great. I'm going to change the ties on this one as well. Yeah, because this is way too small. Checking the size. Yeah, I don't know. His nurse must be did this one. This is a 3.0 Bravona, Okay. As you see, it has an obturator. To make sure you have the right obturator, you want to look at the end and it tells you what obturator goes with which trach. You cannot use the 3.5 obturator and the 3.0 trach is not going to work. It's cut specifically for that trach size. So this is the 3.0, which is the size down trach. You want to make sure you have that with you in your child's go bag. So I'm going to make sure that this tie is the correct size, all right? And I'm going to, actually, this don't even look that bad. I'm actually, I, I, I'm going to, but I'm going to cut a new tie. I'm going to cut a new tie. It looks like it's just a little shorter than I would like it. So I'm going to cut a new tie. And 
And you're going to take this, okay? Put it in the bag. I have the bag labeled 3.0, but the bag is also a different color from the 3.5. And it's in a completely different section of this go bag. So there's no way I can confuse it, right? So I'm going to actually look and see what else is in here. I'm going to pack that with a lubricant with it. I'm also going to pack a gauze. Okay. These scissors, very important for cutting the trach tie. I'm going to pack that. And I'm going to pack two extra trach ties. Okay. You want to make sure you have everything that you need. These two extra trach ties, I'm going to put at let me see i'll put it in this second one hold on you want to make sure that you can see the trach so i'm gonna put it behind the trach in the gauze and i'll show you guys how i did it i also need to get some more lubricants because i like to have backup lubricants for his trach bag but i'm gonna go through this and see what all is in here water i keep water in here Braylon no longer gets water put in the cuff so i will use the water to change the trach as you see, I'm prepared. I have a spacer, and I also have his uh, breathing treatment medicine in here as well. This is one of his breathing treatment meds, okay? And I have a spacer, so that is going to stay in this bag and go with us. I'm not really that mom. I have thermometers in, like, every bag. <laughs> HME, HME, I have HMEs in here. I want to make sure Brilla never goes without what he needs. So I'm going to go through this bag. What he don't need. He don't use these no more. This is a Mepilex trash. He don't use Mepilexes. He used trait pads. Mepilex, I don't really like Mepilex. You know, other people may use it and that's what they use. But I don't really like it. Um, I don't think it does a good job of keeping your child's around your child's stoma dry. So that's just my opinion. Oh, wow. I never had to use this. I don't even know how to use this. This is an eight French suction catheter kit. I've never used this and I never have had to use it. But I will keep it packed in here because you never know what may happen in the emergency. And I'm also going to add the suction catheter that Brillin does use in here. This is Vaseline. That goes in his diaper bag. Okay, so now I'm going to take my time to repack everything and make sure that I have everything that I need. I need to get some saline bullets and I also need to get some more... Um, I don't need these gloves. Some more of the... Um, What's this called? The lubricant. So let me get that. Okay, so I got some extra lube, some saline bullets. And like I said, Brillin uses a trach pad. So I'm going to pack a trach pad. And this is the niacin powder that goes on Brillin's trach ties. So I'm also going to pack some of this as well. All of this is going to go at the bottom of your trach bag. So there's a little zipper right here. I'll put some stuff in there a few bullets in there but the rest of it is going to go at the bottom of the trach bag and everything will fit i'm gonna put this trach pad at the top with his other trach his 3.5 bravona okay gauze HMEs it's a really good go bag you guys a really good one okay remember I told y'all I have his breathing treatment made I like to check and make sure that to see how much more puffs it have that's good that's perfect 
perfect for emergencies this little one i'm glad they gave us this this one does not expire until next year you want to make sure you check all of that you want to make sure you check and see how much puffs it have and check the ex expiration date this one does not expire for another year so this is perfect make sure we keep this in his go bag i'm also going to pack his spacer now, if you do not have a spacer for your child and you need one or you need a backup one, you can always request one. I believe we're supposed to get two of these a year. So this is going to go inside of Braylon's emergency trait bag. And that is actually everything. That's everything, you guys. And I'm going to go through and talk about it. So the first section, I have Braylon's 3.5 Bravona Flex trait. I have, this is his lubricant. I have his trach pad that goes around his stoma under his trach. And I also have this little key piece that we use. That's what we call it to disconnect his trach from his circuit. In the second section, we have extra trach ties. We have that size down 3.0 Bravona Flex. I also have some gauze and some lubricant okay you want to make sure you have lubricant because you use the lubricant to lube the trach to put the trach back inside of the stoma okay in this bottom section i have extra lubricant and i have saline bullets okay say if your child is plugged plug means they have a big glob of mucus that sometimes you can't really get I usually get Brillin chest PT. Then I use the saline bullet to do a suction lavage. Suction lavage means when you suction with saline. That is going to allow you to break up any thick mucus so that you can properly suction your child to clear their airway. Okay? So you want to make sure you keep these saline bullets. And then I packed the bottom with backup supplies. Okay? Um, his breathing treatment, his suction catheter, gauze, HME, saline solution, and water. So there's extra things at the bottom as well. Now, I do keep an extra trach, okay? His extra trach is in his suction bag. His suction bag, his suction bag is in his room. But I do keep an extra trach in that suction bag. And what I also think I'm going to do, I'm going to pack an extra obturator. I think it's important that I pack an extra 3.5 obturator. You can actually use the obturator on the trach that's in your child. So say your child has a trach and the trach slits lids out what you can first do is take the obturator to put that trait back in that trait acting like it's not going to go back in that's when you grab this trait if this trait is acting like it's not going to go back in then you move on to this trick okay but i think i'm going to pack this obturator to be on the safe side very right there and safe so this is how i pack Braylon's go bag this is his go bag with all his trait supply this is the bag that goes with us everywhere and it's cute. We got ours from the hospital. If your hospital did not provide you with one, I can tell you, Amazon has a bag that's a toiletry bag that's similar to this. And it's wonderful. I actually use it for Brillin's toiletries. I can actually put the link in the description and in the comments. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video. I hope that it helped you all learn how to you know, pack your child's bag. And I really hope that it, it makes your life easier. And don't stress, parents. You got this. Everybody, have a great day. That's all packed up. Everything's packed.